Okay, so I've been using this Duplicolor bed liner stuff on just about everything, and I decided I was going to do the front end of the Liberty, uh, where I had done the black grill and then the black section on the bumper. Uh, I decided to uh, redo all that, but do it with the uh, the bed liner, and I think it looks really, really good. I'm just wondering how well it's going to hold up on plastic. I've been using it on metal and stuff, and uh, it does take about two days before you can really, really do anything with it on metal. Because uh, like if you mess with it before then, it's, it's not wet or anything, like you can scratch it. And um, within the first 12 hours, you could actually kind of peel it back off, almost like Plasti Dip. And then after about 24 hours, it's hardened, but if you were to scratch it, it would leave like a gray mark on it. But then I've noticed after about 24 hours, you can do pretty much whatever you want to it, and it's just fine. Uh, so we'll see how it holds up on the plastic. I plan on doing the rear as well. Um, as you can see, it's still black. So I plan on doing the rear center section as well. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I also did the bar to the bull bar so like everything is the same color and then uh, I just took a silver paint marker and ran down those lines in the middle to kind of give it a little bit of an accent so I'm gonna try to do the rear see what it looks like and uh, just do some cosmetic stuff uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before or not but if you notice that silver piece of trim across the bottom is gone uh, it's called the front fascia trim plate um, it disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it was there one day, and then it was gone the next. I didn't go off-roading or anything, didn't hit anything, and, uh, the thing is, is it was double-sided taped and snapped on there. So I don't see how it would have just fell off. Uh, but then again, I don't know of anybody that would just be running around stealing front fascia trim plates unless they watched one of my videos and found out how much those things cost. Uh, so... I haven't found another cheap one, so it's gonna stay off. Uh, you can't really tell, but I did it. I painted it too with the bed liner stuff. Just trying to make everything look the same. So I just want to take the time to give you guys an update on this coating that I did. This is that Duplicolor bed armor. Um, yeah, it's covered with bugs and dirt and all that stuff, but uh, no scratches or anything like that. It's actually held up surprisingly well. Um, it's been on here for I don't know how long. I'll have to look when I go to edit this and see how old the footage is from when I first did it. But uh, I do remember being concerned on how well it would hold up on plastic and it's held up really really well uh, but like I said most of this is just bugs and stuff like that and uh, you can actually spray this and it comes right off and looks really good again so yeah if anybody's considering you know blacking out their grill and uh, planning on going with like a flat finish I would really recommend this Duplicolor bed armor uh, but, like I said before, I think I said before when I recorded the first part of this video, this stuff does have to set for quite a while before it's, uh, you know, really tough. Because, you know, you can spray it on, then 12 hours later you can come out and scratch it, and it'll actually peel off like rubber. Um, and that's a big thing that people are complaining about in the reviews, is that it peels back off. Well, yeah, it will within like 12 hours. And then uh, if you let it set for about 24, you're pretty good. Once it's completely cured, I mean, it's fine. So I guess that's the only downfall to using this stuff is that it, it does take a while. So if you look at the reviews of this and you see all the people saying that, well, it doesn't stick and it peels back off and all that, just remember, you have to leave this stuff on here for a long, long time to cure. So that's enough rambling. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this little pointless video. 
If you did, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. I've got some other videos that are, you know, actually informative about different things other than just paint and bumpers. So if you find a video that you like while you're in there, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.